And here is the new CRU3. We can see there's a few changes over the CRU2 with the clear shrink wrap, a smaller footprint. The clear shrink wrap just makes it a little easier to adjust the potentiometer on there. And the potentiometer on the CRU3 has changed to a flat head where previously on the CRU2 it was a Phillips head. And we do have these adjustment tools available. You'll see me utilizing it in the video. First we're going to hook up the CRU3 to our 12 volt CL180 and we're powering it with the 24 volt power supply. So with no adjustments necessary uh, we're going to plug it in and this is a clutching storeroom so with no power applied it's not going to retract the latch and I'll apply power and it's going to retract the latch. No power clutching and apply power to retract the latch. Um, so we can see here the CRU3 just plugging into a 12 volt solenoid and it's going to cool off those levers and extend the life of the solenoid. It's ideal for fail safe or continuous on applications. To see how to fine tune the CRU3, stay tuned. And here we're going to start off by showing you the most efficient adjustment for a 24 volt solenoid with a 24 volt power supply. So I'll start off by dialing the potentiometer counterclockwise till it stops and that's at the lowest point. And so I can see here that the solenoid's bouncing. It doesn't have enough energy to hold in the plunger. So now I'm going to start adjusting the potentiometer clockwise about 10 degrees at a time until I see that plunger held in. And once the plunger is held in, I know that the solenoid is getting enough power. And now it's about at its most efficient point. If I want to be on the safe side, I might just adjust it an extra 5 degrees clockwise just to make sure. Now I can apply power again just to make sure it does hold in the plunger. I can see now that we're all clear. If you have a 24 volt power supply and a 12 volt solenoid, I'll show you how to turn the CRU3 into 50% mode. So I'm going to take the potentiometer and adjust it clockwise all the way until it stops. Without the solenoid plugged in, apply power for one, two, three seconds. And now it's in 50% mode. Now I can plug in the solenoid, whether I've released or still have power applied, does not matter. And the solenoid now is going to be at 50% mode, so I'm going to start the fine tuning again, just the same as in standard mode. So I'll start off by dialing the potentiometer counterclockwise until it stops, and that's at the lowest point. And so I can see here that the solenoid's bouncing doesn't have enough energy to hold in the plunger. So now I'm going to start adjusting the potentiometer clockwise about 10 degrees at a time until I see that plunger held in. And once the plunger is held in I know that the solenoid is getting enough power and now it's about at its most efficient point. If I want to be on the safe side I might just adjust it an extra 5 degrees clockwise just to make sure. Now I can apply power again just to make sure it does hold in the plunger. And I can see now that we're all clear. If for some reason I wanted to change it back to standard mode, I'm going to unplug the solenoid again. Now I'm going to rotate the potentiometer counterclockwise all the way to the left. And then I'm going to apply power again for three seconds. One, two, three. Release power. And now it's been set back into standard mode. Thanks for joining us for the CRU3 installation.